Now you're horny. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't know if y'all heard it. Well, last week, um, the federal, the feds declared a disaster for Lowndes, Glenn, and Cook County. They haven't added any other counties, but over the weekend, they did um, add more counties, including ours in our area, for um, public assistance, um, which means local governments can apply for reimbursement for the cost of the hurricane cleanup. Um, that doesn't include individual assistance um, for, the individual assistance is only for um, Lowndes, Glenn, and Cook. That means that if somebody's house got destroyed and it was uninsured, then FEMA will give them money. But we didn't have enough homes destroyed in these other counties, so it's only for local government reimbursement. Um, so I know, as y'all probably have seen, throughout the county and the cities that there's a lot of debris left to clean up and I don't believe our road department can handle it doing, the, doing it themselves. So I would recommend us get a debris removal company come in um, and clean it up. Um, but on top of that, if you have a debris removal company in order to get reimbursed fully through, through FEMA and the state, you have to have a debris monitoring company as well. So, um, I was contacted before the, the day before the hurricane came by um, a company called SDR um, for the debris removal. They're out of Greenville and they, they actually have a debris removal contract in place with Lowndes County. So I know they, they do a good job and they're also um, GEMA, um, the chairman and I met with GEMA and FEMA last week, and we mentioned that company, and they said that they, they do a great job. Um, and also, um, I was contacted by Debris Tech, and actually, um, Josh with the Debris Tech, the, excuse me, Debris Tech is here. If you guys have any questions, um, he's uh, um, very often works with SDR. Um, so... I would recommend we move forward to get it done as quickly as possible to sign a contract with SDR and debris tech. Um, and one will do the monitoring and one will do the removal. Is that yes. what I'm hearing you say? That's right. And we would be reimbursed by FEMA 75%. The state reimburses us by 10%. And then our part would be 15% of the cost is what we would have to pay. We have to be under contract in order to get that. Is that what you're saying? That's right. Okay. The 15 percent is a lot cheaper than 100. Guaranteed. Mm -hmm. And this is something we actually need in place. If I understood them when we were meeting with FEMA and the GMO yes. the other morning, it's something we actually need in place for us to be eligible when we, if, if and when we have another storm. I hope it's another hundred years. We have one like this, it's 1893, one they can't do like this last time. I'll be long gone by then, so I don't have to worry a whole lot about it, but, uh, uh, um, but it could be one next week. Yeah, and that's one thing our EMA, Andrew, um, stated that recommended by GEMA that we need to work on is to get a debris contract in place. Um, since our we're in a state of emergency technically right now, our procurement um, rules uh, do you know are a little bit looser right now mm -hmm. but once we get through this we need to put out for bid the a debris removal company and a debris monitoring because if you have a contract already in place before the disaster then your um your part drops down to 10 percent instead of 15 okay. so it does help yeah, I, I wouldn't know why we wouldn't have one in advance it's, you know once they declare the disaster, they can come in and start working. Right. And they're right to work. They're right to work on that. Okay, now what will the monitoring company, what will they, what services will they actually provide for us on monitoring the storm or you want to speak to that for us? Please? Sure. Want me to go up to the lectern or wherever you like? Well, I'm 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 fine right here. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um so the easiest way to describe it, this overly simplistic, is that the SDR they pick up the sticks. And debris tech watches them pick up the sticks. 
the weirdest thing. Hurricane Katrina kind of messed it up for everyone. Um, so much devastation happened in Louisiana and Mississippi. A lot of contractors got in there. A lot of bad actors got in there. They were putting their buddies up on the tower and saying they were cutting 200 trees when they cut two. And there was so much fraud, waste, and abuse that uh, that really kind of amplified. FEMA was already moving in that direction. Uh, but FEMA's decided a long time ago that it's cheaper to actually pay a third party to watch the contractor than to trust the contractor to turn in the right receipts. Now, the contractors nowadays, they clean up their act. SDR is a good company. We're working with them currently in Brooks County. We've been there for about a week. Um, and so what we do is we have monitors with iPads and we geolocate everything. So when they pick up a load, we take a picture of it and it captures the GPS. And so we can show FEMA this is where it's picked up. This is where it's dropped off in the hall into the uh, temporary debris site. This is the low call of how much debris was called in. And this is when they ground it up and they hauled it out or they burned it, whatever you guys decide to do with it. So we provide cradle to grave documentation. So SDR or whichever hauling company uh, you, you choose, would be the ones that would go throughout the county and every county maintained road, they would pick up the, the debris. And then it's our receipts, which is our, um, with our iPads and our electronic data. Um, our receipts is what gives, what you give to FEMA and that is where the reimbursement comes in. So it's, uh, again, like we're, we just finished up in um, Butts County and Spalding County for the tornadoes that came in, Henry County as well. I'm actually heading up in the morning to go back to Forsyth County because we're working there right now. So we, like SDR, we've got a strong presence in Georgia. And so we do, we do the monitoring. Um, so we're here as long as the contractor's here and we scale up or down to depending on how many trucks they have. If they put three trucks in the county, we'll have three monitors. If they put 30, we'll have 30 monitors. So. Wallace, do you got any questions concerning this? I know you're with the city. I don't know what y'all are doing, but do you have any questions for us? I don't. I spoke with Jacqueline earlier. Um, we had already um, spoken with a, a, a tree removal company, but since this is coming into play, then I think we're just going to wait and see you know, how you all move forward with it and okay. just include our stuff with you all. Okay. Thank you for being here, by the way. Yes, sir. Okay, so what we're asking about, Jack, and we're looking at SDR, let's include an SDR as a removal of debris, mm -hmm. and for debris tech to do the monitoring, is that what we're asking? And so that's the motion, on, you know, that's the motion, it's for us to take and hire these two companies to deal with our, with our uh, debris removal and monitoring. What well, was the charge for it? Uh, for, for you won't know that you don't fix it. Yeah. I mean, I come out, they don't know how much they charge for it. Uh, yeah, so with uh, with SDR, they're they're based off of how much debris they picked up. So you pay them Trump, tonnage. Um, yeah, tonnage or or, or loads, or cubic yardage. So yeah. if they pick up thirty thousand cubic yards, let's say in the county, they get paid the same whether they whether they, whether they pick that up in three <coughs> days or three months. That motivates them. To hurry. To hurry and not overcharge the client. Our contract is based off of time and materials. And so we get paid by the hour. And FEMA asks that to be separate so that we're not incentivized to drag it out for them. They're incentivized to hurry it up. And that, that's what works best. So you'll, we'll, we'll find out. But you've uh, got sample contracts. Uh, and one other thing I would say is for Brooks County, if, if we sign a contract with Brooks County, it would be for county maintained roads. Um, any specific entities like the city equipment or Argyle, um, if there's an interlocal agreement, I know that's what Brooks County is doing with the city equipment and, and Morvin and some of the others. So that would be an option if Homerville would want to opt into that as well. That's that's where Brooks County is going. Um, but each, you know, and actually um, Valdosta is doing that with Lowndes County as well. Sometimes it's just, it's just cleaner to all go in together. I don't think we still answer the question about what is what I'm gonna charge. Part, what, no. what, per, the, the, sorry about that. Uh, the time is now would have to be something SDR would okay would would, would answer to that. So. And what do y'all charge? Y'all charge charge per hour? Or we we charge per hour. And then that would go back to the FEMA, mm -hmm. where they would pay. We'd have to pay fifteen percent. Fifteen percent of that. Fifteen percent. 
is what we got to do. This would be yes, sir. Call. Call 50% of the Y'all have the same cost anywhere y'all work? Any area? Or? Um, so, yes. I mean, the, the, the contract that we gave, uh, the sample contract we gave, the county is the same one we're, we did in Spalding and Butts, and we're doing it in Brooks. The other places where we would go up is if we work in like New York City or something like that, and the, the minimum wage is a lot higher. I guess of what we were that. Y'all have more questions, Bob? I, mean, I, right. I was kind of curious what we're going to Oh, yeah, that's a good question. You'll never know, so you what, never know what it's going to cost until you know, it's done. You know, yeah, that's, 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 that's what it is. We're we only going to pay 15% of the total cost. I think you was asking about what yeah. it's going to cost per time. Yeah, I yeah. think. And, and, and per hour, so yeah. that's what we're interested in, what Bob's interested in. I guess what we'd be asking then is that uh, the county, is the board to approve us to enter into a contract with STR and to breed tech. And once we get contracts, we'll have our attorney to look over that contract and make sure it's what we have discussed tonight. And then if, if and then we're asking the board if that is in, in, in compliance with what we discussed tonight, then give Jacqueline and myself authority to enter into the contract with these two companies for right now. And then we'd go back and later back and then we would rebid these contracts out. Is that correct? That's right. So we really don't have a lot of time right. to speak. Right. And, they, and they're giving us they're giving us a little leeway right yeah. now, I believe, to allow us to do this since we didn't have one that sort of caught everybody by surprise. I'll make a motion that we sign a contract with both those companies mm -hmm. to get our debris picked up and removed from the county to burn or whatever. Okay. I've got a motion, I have a second. Second. Motion to second. Any further discussion? I uh, hear none. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed, the like sign. So if you'll get with Jack.